हाँ हो गया हो गया ठीक है स्टार्ट कर दीजिए स्वागत है आप सभी का कलारम के संडे लाइव डेमो प्रोग्राम में एक बार फिर से और आज के हमारे गेस्ट आर्टिस्ट हैं मुंबई बेस्ड आर्टिस्ट तनय कुमार जी इससे पहले कि हम आज का डेमो शुरू करें एक छोटा सा इंट्रो में हमारे आज के गेस्ट आर्टिस्ट का करना चाहूंगा ताकि हम उनको थोड़ा सा जान लें तनय कुमार जी का जन्म जमशेदपुर के एक छोटे से टाउन में हुआ और अपनी अंडर ग्रेड स्टडी में उन्होंने आर्किटेक्चर को चुना और उसके बाद आपने कम्युनिकेशन डिजाइन किया आईडीसी से आईआईटी बॉम्बे जहां आप अपनी क्लास के गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट थे अपने डिजाइन करियर में आपने आगे चलकर इंडिया के सबसे बड़े डिजाइन स्टूडियो क्रिएट किया जिसमें 120 डिजाइनर एक साथ काम कर रहे थे और 2016 में जापान की एक बड़ी फर्म टेंसु इंटरनेशनल ने आपकी इस डिजाइन स्टूडियो को एक्वायर कर लिया जिसकी वैल्यूएशन 40 मिलियन डॉलर लगाई गई और ये दो डिजाइन और आर्किटेक्चर ने आपकी अंदर की कला को जीवित रखा और उस कला के माध्यम से आपने अपने विचारों को और अपनी अपने भावनाओं को कैनवास और कागज पर उतारते रहे और आज के वक्त में एक स्टेब्लिश्ड कलाकार के रूप में आप जाने जाते हैं और देश और विदेश में विभिन्न जगह पर आपके एग्जीबिशन हो चुके हैं और जारी हैं मौजूदा समय में आर्टिस्ट के साथ साथ आप फ्रैक्टल इंटरनेशनल इंकटेल फ्रैक्टल इंकटेल जैनसुक इंटरनेशनल के चीफ क्रिएटिव ऑफिसर को फाउंडर के पद पर काबिज हैं और इस छोटे से इंट्रोडक्शन के बाद मैं एक शुक्रिया करूंगा और वेलकम करूंगा हमारे कलारम के फाउंडर अचिंते हाजरा सर कोलकाता से और निशिकांत पालांडे सर महाराष्ट्र से और साथ में कलारम की टीम को भी एक बार मैं वेलकम करूंगा हमारे चीफ कोऑर्डिनेटर अलका मैम और बेंगलोर से ज्योति जी और सिद्धार्थ उड़ीसा से कनिष्ठा जी मुंबई से वंशिका जी चंडीगढ़ से और प्रियांश डूंगी से और मैं हिमाचल प्रदेश से कलारम एक नॉन प्रॉफिटेबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जो आर्ट कम्युनिटी के लिए काम कर रहा है आर्टिस्ट के साथ मिलकर आर्टिस्ट की स्पोर्ट से आप सभी की स्पोर्ट से और कलारम की जो भी एक्टिविटीज हैं उसके बारे में अगर आप जानना चाहते हैं तो कलारम की ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट है www.kalaram.com आप उस पर विजिट कीजिए जो भी एक्टिविटी कलारम की चल रही है चाहे वो डेमोज हो चाहे एग्जीबिशन हो चाहे वर्कशॉप हो सबके बारे में आपको वहां पर पता लग गया जो अपकमिंग इवेंट है उसका भी एक अलग से कॉलम है वहां पर भी आप जाकर क्लिक करेंगे तो आपको अपकमिंग इवेंट के बारे में पता लग जाएगा हाल में जो अपकमिंग इवेंट चल रही है उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा बता देता हूँ एक लाइफ टाइम मेंबरशिप अनाउंस की है कलारम ने तो आप अब पक्के तौर पर कलारम फैमिली का हिस्सा बन सकते हैं ये लाइफ टाइम मेंबरशिप है मतलब एक ही बार आपको मेंबरशिप लेनी है और लाइफ टाइम के लिए आपको इसके बेनिफिट मिलेंगे बेनिफिट अलग अलग हैं उसमें आपको डिटेल में पता लगे कि आप वहां पर विजिट करेंगे और साथ में कोलकाता में होने जा रही है कलारम की रेजिडेंशियल वर्कशॉप दिसंबर में जो कि 22 से 25 दिसंबर तक रहेगी और बहुत अमेजिंग आर्टिस्ट इसमें आ रहे हैं जैसे कि विकास डोले सर हैं सिकंदर सर हैं मधुसूदन दास हैं और प्रफुल सावंत सर जो कि बहुत समय बाद इंडिया में रेजिडेंशियल वर्कशॉप का हिस्सा बन रहे हैं तो ये बहुत ही अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस रहने वाला है ऑलरेडी इसके शुरू हो चुके हैं रजिस्ट्रेशन और शुरू क्या खत्म भी होने वाले हैं बहुत ही कुछ लिमिटेड सीट्स बची हैं आप अगर ज्वाइन करना चाहते हैं तो ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं ऑलरेडी उड़ीसा का जो वर्कशॉप है नवंबर का ओपन हो चुका है इसी के साथ मैं अपनी बात को यहाँ पर विराम देता हूँ और मैं हैंडओवर ओवर करूंगा हमारे आज के गेस्ट आर्टिस्ट तनय कुमार जी को कि वो इसमें कुछ एड करना चाहते हैं तो अपने बारे में कुछ और बताना चाहते हैं तो जरूर अपना एक्सपीरियंस वो हमारे जो भी आर्टिस्ट उनके साथ शेयर कीजिए और डेमो शुरू कीजिए कुमार जी आपको हैंडओवर करता हूँ थैंक यू थैंक यू कुल्स काफी काफी इलेबोरेट 
इंट्रोडक्शन किया आपने थैंक यू उसके लिए थैंक्स निशी अचिंत एंड द होल टीम इंक्लूडिंग अलका मैम एज वेल आई थिंक मेरा मेरा जर्नी uh, आप लोग को देखते हुए शुरू हुआ है इन आर्ट सो क्वाइट थैंकफुल टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज एंड थैंक यू फॉर लेटिंग मी कैन ऑफ रियली डेमो माई स्टाफ हेयर मैं मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि मैं हिंदी इंग्लिश दोनों में बात करूं बट कुल आपको कहीं भी ऐसा लगे कि एक्सप्लेन uh, करने की जरूरत है जो मैंने बोला है uh, आप प्लीज गो एड एंड डू इट मैं ज्यादा कंफर्टेबल हूँ मैं ज्यादा कंफर्टेबल इंग्लिश में हूँ इसलिए शायद मैं मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम मैं वही बोलूंगा uh, एक छोटा सा uh, uh, जब मैंने शुरू किया अपना जर्नी uh, मैं वाटर कलर करता था पहले मैं अभी भी करता हूँ वाटर कलर ये म्यूजिक था अच्छा अच्छा था म्यूजिक एक्चुअली <laughs> मुझे लगा मुझे लगा बैकग्राउंड बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक की जरूरत थी म्यूजिक तो हमने रखा थैंक यू वेलकम थैंक यू सो मच गुड टू सी यू या सो I started. I started doing watercolors. Obviously, I started looking at lot of people doing watercolors, including Nishikan, Dachint, uh, Aja Sir, uh, Vikrant Shetole Sir, uh, and also a lot of European artists. I started following uh, uh, to just kind of really see what people are doing. Uh, in terms of uh, sketching, because I studied architecture and design, uh, pencil se dosti hamesha thi hamari. Uh, उतना अनकंफर्टेबल नहीं था पेंसिल से बट uh, कभी भी आई नेवर कैन थॉट कि आई विल गेट इनटू अ फुल टाइम आर्ट आई वाज ऑलवेज इनटू डिजाइन व्हिच वॉज मोस्टली इनटू सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स और डिजाइनिंग बिल्डिंग्स कुछ चीजें एडवांटेजेस रही मेरे लिए इन द होल जर्नी बिकॉज मेरी ये स्केचिंग बहुत आसान था मेरे लिए परस्पेक्टिव समझना बहुत आसान था uh, मैंने बचपन से मैंने जब भी आर्किटेक्चर पूरा जब जब पढ़ाई की तब परस्पेक्टिव स्केचिंग वाज अ पार्ट ऑफ माय करिकुलम सो मेरे लिए वो काफी इजी uh, था मैं बोल सकता हूँ बट व्हेन आई केम टू आर्ट आई थिंक अ डिफरेंट अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रियली पर्सपेक्टिव ओपन अप फॉर मी व्हिच वाज मोर टू डू विथ एक्सप्रेसिंग योर सेल्फ ओके हम जब कोई चीज को देखते हैं तो हम हम उसको अपने नजरिए से देखते हैं और अगर यही चीज अगर आप लोग में से कोई भी देखेंगे तो वो अपने नजरिए से देखेंगे <laughs> जबकि अगर आप आर्किटेक्चर पढ़ोगे तो अगर जब मैं किसी बिल्डिंग को देख रहा हूँ तो मैं जैसे बिल्डिंग को देख रहा हूँ वैसे मेरे स्टूडेंट्स और मेरे अलग मेरे जो कुलीग्स हैं वो भी बिल्डिंग्स को वैसे ही देखेंगे लेकिन जब आर्ट में ट्रांसफर करते हो किसी बिल्डिंग को या फिर किसी सीन को तो वो आप अपना परस्पेक्टिव डालते हो एंड आई थिंक दैट वॉज द मोस्ट आई वुड से मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पार्ट एंड इट वॉज मोस्ट आई वुड से एनलाइटनिंग फॉर मी मेरे लिए बहुत ही I feel felt satisfied when I started kind of interpreting scenes as I saw it, and uh, looking at composition, looking at different things was something that I really loved doing. Uh, over a period of time, हुआ ये कि मेरे पास जितना सामान था वाटर कलर का वो बढ़ता गया. Okay, मुझे चेयर कैरी करना पड़ता था, मुझे बुक्स कॉर्ड कैरी करने पड़ते थे, और और मेरी उम्र होने लगी है. तो मेरा बैक ने जवाब देना शुरू कर दिया कि वो इतनी सारी चीजें तो नहीं लेके चल सकते हैं पूरी समय एंड समहाउ वन ऑफ माय टूर्स इन इन यूरोप एक्चुअली आई जस्ट आई वाज जस्ट विजिटिंग यूरोप आई वाज कैन रियली गॉन फॉर एनी स्केचिंग एंड ऑल वन ऑफ द टूर्स इन यूरोप आई एक्चुअली जस्ट कैरिड माई पेन एंड फ्यू ऑफ माई मार्कर्स मेरे मार्कर्स ऑफ पेन मैंने कैरी uh, किया एंड समहा जब मैंने वो करना शुरू किया आई स्टार्टेड लाइकिंग कि मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ एंड एंड मेरा एक्सप्रेशन रहा देन एक्चुअली लुकिंग एट समबडी एल्स इज वर्क एंड कॉपिंग इट स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग स्लाइटली मोर ओरिजिनल इन द वे आई सॉ इट और समहा मेरा रिफ्लेक्शन जो मैं मैं देना चाहता था वो स्टार्टेड कमिंग आउट मच ईजी ईजिली एंड ओवरऑल मेरा लोड कम हो गया था सो आई वॉज आई वॉज फ्रीली मूविंग मैं कहीं भी जा रहा था मुझे एक बैग कॉपी पेन्स और मार्कर्स के सिवा और कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए होता था सो स्लोली आई ग्रेजुएटेड इन टू डूइंग लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ पेन एंड इंक एंड लॉट ऑफ रेंडरिंग थ्रू ओनली मार्कर्स और अभी अगर मेरे बैग में देखा जाए तो कुल मिला के बस उतनी ही चीजें हैं 
जितना मेरा बैग कैरी कर सकता है मैं ज्यादा चीज कैरी नहीं करता हूँ मैं चेयर भी कैरी नहीं करता हूँ तो जहां भी जाता हूँ वहां बैठ जाता हूँ एंड बिकॉज कॉपी है कोई पानी नहीं है कोई ब्रश नहीं है एंड आई डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट करना फिली स्केचिंग विथ इट एंड मैंने देखा कि वंस आई स्टार्टेड स्केचिंग विद ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट आई ऑल्सो गॉट अ बिट ऑफ आइडेंटिटी फॉर माई सेल्फ आई ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड लुकिंग एट माई वर्क एज समथिंग विच इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वॉट एवरीबडी एल्स इज डूइंग एंड इट स्टार्टेड गेटिंग माई कैरेक्टर इन टू इट विच इज माई परस्पेक्टिव इन टू इट एंड दैट वॉज वॉट वॉज रियली क्वाइट क्वाइट एक्साइटिंग फॉर मी आई वुड से सो मैं ज्यादा वक्त नहीं लूंगा Uh, I will directly go into sketching where I'm sure that everybody is looking out for मैं क्या करता हूँ और कैसे करता हूँ और क्या क्या चीजें यूज करता हूँ बट इस पॉइंट पे मैं जस्ट वेट करना चाहूंगा किसी पास कोई क्वेश्चन है तो वो मुझे पूछ सकते हैं मेरे बैकग्राउंड के बारे में या मेरे स्टाइल के बारे में No, no, I'm not giving up on any medium actually. I also do acrylic. I also do watercolor. But somehow. Uh, I feel कि जब मैं घूम रहा होता है एंड आई वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड स्केच टूगेदर समहाउ आई हेव स्टार्टेड फीलिंग की दैट दैट एक्सप्रेस मी मच बेटर सो आई एम नॉट गिविंग अप एन एनी थिंग इफ समथिंग एक्चुअली आई फील दैट आई विल हैव टू डू इट इन वॉटर कलर्स और प्रॉब्लम आई एम एक्साइटेड टू डू इट इन वॉटर कलर्स आई विल डू इट इन वॉटर कलर्स इट्स नॉट दैट आई एम नॉट गिविंग अप ऑन क्या होने वाला है बट अभी के लिए सो दीज आर समाई स्केचेज आई डू एक्चुअली दीज आर दाइंड आई डू इट्स इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल पैड दैट आई कैरी ओके इट्स इट्स एन ए फाइव साइज पैड दैट आई कैरी विथ माई सेल्फ ओके दिस इज दिस इज द पैड विथ माई विच विच माई बैग हैज एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ये पेन्स है शार्पी के जो मैं कैरी करता हूँ बहुत सस्ते पेन है डेढ़ सौ रुपये में दो मिलते हैं नॉट वेरी एक्सपेंसिव और ये ये मेरे यहाँ पे लग जाता है और ये हमेशा रहता है यहाँ पे मोस्टली ओके जहां मैं जाता हूँ आई थिंक कुछ लोग मेरे साथ अगर आए हैं तो उन्होंने देखा होगा पेन हमेशा लगे रहता है मेरे चेन के अंदर सो so, ये शार्पी का पेन मैं कैरी करता हूँ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई कैरी दीज मार्कर्स विच आर आई नो इफ एबल टू सी इट नॉट दीज आर मार्कर्स ये विंसन न्यूटन का प्रो मार्कर है uh but these are alcohol markers uh, you can get any uh, any other alcohol markers from brustro which is slightly cheaper than uh, vince uh, vince newton uh or uh, i mean expensive so expensive bhi aati hai uh, so you can actually uh, how much ever money you have you can actually spend on al- markers as well but these are uh, normally i only carry these six shades which are all shades of gray um uh, these are warm tones of gray if i can say there's few cool grays as well but they are mostly warm tones of gray that i carry uh, apart from that aapne dekha hoga mere sketches mein kabhi kabhar main kafi bar kabhi kabhar actually not kafi bar kabhi kabhar main highlight kar deta hu koi cheeze jaise ki ye wale sketch mein if you see the dome has been highlighted or uh, in certain sketches i'm just looking for a sketch of mumbai which i recently did uh abhi main dhoondna chahu to wo nahi milne wala hai mujhe sure sure <laughs> so abhi jaise ki ye maine uh, mumbai ka during the rains kiya tha uh, jisme ki maine highlight kiya tha on a yellow so sometimes i use some colors and uh, for that i actually have posca markers uh these are like six colors that i have uh, including white uh and aur mere mere bag mein apart from that kuch pencils rehti hain bas so mera pad aur ye jitni cheeze maine aapko dikhai uh, those are the only things that i carry uh, on my back apart from that my ipad is with me and my phone is with me and a water bottle nothing else uh, so it's very light i think i think uh, anybody anybody who wants to uh, um, travel and sketch a lot and if you if you feel that uh, 
if you feel that your your back is giving way i would i would still kind of advise people to try optimizing their gear because you know as an artist uh, the one thing that you'll have to really be uh, um, working towards is your fitness and your health because the kind of environment and the kind of uh, time that we spend on art and and doing in various postures or stuff like that it's bound ki wo hamare health pe affect karega so if you want to paint for a long time make sure that whatever is convenient to you please try to optimize it please try to make sure that you are carrying only stuff which you actually are going to use otherwise maine dekha hai kafi log duniya bhar ki cheeze le lete hain matlab sab tarah ke pad honge sab tarah ke colors honge sab tarah ke brushes honge and half the things you will not use and i think uh, uh, i think it's it's useful to start looking at yourself and seeing ki what 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 is most useful to you yes hello so uh, uh not not taking much more time i am going to focus my uh, camera towards my notebook so give me a second um so horizontally uh, karna uh hi tanay sir this is one quick question here uh, yeah, can ahead. you please tell me what kind of sketchbook you use paper or the sketchbook quality is there a gsm so, that we need to follow so currently i'm using a 300 gsm uh, normal watercolor pad itself okay this is uh, the one that i'm oh, using okay. is is a, is a normal 300 gsm pad um, full press but uh, because it's a it's a sketch pen and stuff give me a second uh, let me just kind of wait, turn this camera around so that uh, you're starting to look at what sure मैं पहली बार जूम पे कर रहा हूँ इसलिए गाइस थोड़ा सा पेशेंस जरूरत होगा आप लोग को आई एम सॉरी कि मैंने no, कुछ no, किया क्या अभी वो बैकग्राउंड सेट हो गया है हाँ, बाकी सही है अभी ठीक है ना ये इसको आप मतलब आपने अभी वर्टिकल है लेकिन उसको एक नहीं एक बार पहले आप कैमरा को ना वॉल फेसिंग कीजिए हॉरिजोंटल करके हॉरिजोंटल करके वॉल फेसिंग करूँ अभी आप उसको सेट कर लीजिए परफेक्ट है अभी अभी ठीक है यस सर परफेक्ट ओके सो सो फिलहाल तो आई जस्ट कैन कैन ऑफ शो यू क्या क्या चीजें हैं मेरे पास ये शार्पी का मार्कर है बेसिकली बहुत सिंपल सा मार्कर है फेल टिप है बहुत फाइन इट्स इट्स अल्ट्रा फाइन इट्स नॉट द थिक शार्पी मार्कर इट्स अल्ट्रा फाइन पॉइंट आई डोंट नो इफ यू कैन सी इट नॉट दिस अल्ट्रा पॉइंट पॉइंट दैट आई डू एंड दिस इज द दिस इज द थिंग दैट आई यूज इन टर्म्स ऑफ द शेड दैट आई हैव राइट नाउ दीज आर द शेड्स दैट आई हैव फ्रॉम लाइट टू डार्क आई एम जस्ट कैन ट्राइंग टू अरेंज देम सो दैट या so if you see these are the these are the shades there are there are two two sides of it it's a thick one and a thin one um and subsequently ye sare shades hain ye refill maine sorry nahi ye refill nahi hota hai matlab at least maine to try nahi kiya isko refill karne ka uh i don't think so refill hota hai but agar hota hoga to very well i mean tell me as well uh how to get it refilled but as far as i know i don't think so it gets refilled you will have to kind of buy some new so i have a lot of uh unused ones as well so mere paas bahut sari padi hui hai markers uh jo khatam ho gayi hai a refill ho sakta hai to i will start reusing them in any case as such uh <clears throat> so uh, ye mere gear hai नॉर्मली uh, अगर सीन कॉम्प्लेक्स होता है तो मैं पेंसिल का यूज करता हूँ अदरवाइज आई डू नॉट यूज पेंसिल एट ऑल आई जनरली स्टार्ट स्केचिंग डायरेक्टली विद पेन पार्ट ऑफ द रीजन वाई आई स्टार्ट डायरेक्टली विद द पेन बिकॉज मैंने ये नोटिस किया है कि वेन यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग पेंसिल यू स्टार्ट करेक्टिंग यूर सेल्फ टू मच एंड एंड इन द इन द in the view of correcting yourself you start getting into things which normally you wouldn't get into uh, which is too many details isliye main chahta hu ki main koshish karta hu ki main mostly directly pen se sketch karu 
मेरे लिए वो ज्यादा आसान भी होता है क्योंकि कुछ मिस्टेक्स होते हैं सम मिस्टेक्स एक्चुअली आई इम्प्रोवाइज ऑन एंड सम मिस्टेक्स आई एम आई एम ओके विथ एज वेल गोइंग एड विथ बिफोर आई गो हैड is everybody okay with me talking in hindi and english or everybody uh, and if there any kind of any person who doesn't understand hindi at all and it's better to no, say yeah, it all okay, in yeah, okay, hindi okay. nahi samjhega to puchhenge nahi nahi because some uh, kuls ne bola ki kuch log uh, bahar se bhi join kar rahe hain so i don't know ki uh, uh, unke liye hindi uh, theek hai ki nahi but theek hai cool uh, i will try to be as As mixed as possible. So, uh, सबसे पहले हम एक काम करते हैं सबसे पहले मैं ये चाहता था कि एक uh, मैं छोटी सी ड्रॉइंग बनाने की कोशिश करूंगा जस्ट टू शो यू हाउ डू आई डीकंस्ट्रक्ट दीन ओके लाइक दिस दिस इज अन दैट आई टेकन आई जस्ट टेकन इट फ्रॉम इंटरेस्ट विच इज फ्यू बोर्ड्स एंड देन देर आर थिंग्स इन द बैकग्राउंड ओके now obviously you can draw it in as detail as possible there is a lot of stuff here there is lots of uh, stuff in the background here which you can try and detail but jab main kisi cheez ko dekhta hu even in photograph i know ki mere ko kya draw mujhe kya chahiye what do i want to draw on this uh, on this kind of on on this picture and i will go into only that much detail uh as i want okay and uske liye the technique that i use is that i set my focal point first which means that what is it that i am going to really focus my my eye on and rest of the things i will kind of really draw later uh like for example in this picture the two boats which is very visible here are the things in focus which is thankfully uh, ye picture achhi si le gayi hai to humko the problem nahi ho raha hai Uh, we are not having any problem in deciding what the focal point is but many a times when you're sitting at the location there are lot of things which is happening around uh in that case what happens is that you have to start focusing on making a focal point for yourself otherwise what will happen is that you start sketching everything which is around which i normally as a as an artist uh try to if, if i'm telling somebody to how to sketch i would try them to tell them that not to kind of really try to capture everything around in the in the scene so if i have to really keep uh, ye dono cheez visible hai na matlab ye picture aur mera notebook yes yes yeah yes sir okay cool cool so uh first of all jaise ki maine bola ki main directly pen se use karta hu एंड uh, ये छोटा सा डेमो है uh, उसके बाद चाहिए अगर अगर uh, और बड़ा डेमो करना है देन आई टेक अ बिगर सीन एंड देन प्रोबेबली ड्रॉ स्टफ एज वेल बट मैं बहुत फटाफट स्केचिंग करता हूँ एंड पार्ट ऑफ पार्ट ऑफ द रीजन इज बिकॉज आई वांट टू कैप्चर एज मेनी थिंग्स एज आई एज आई एज आई वुड लाइक टू इन अ गिवन स्पैन ऑफ टाइम एंड दैट्स अ रीजन वाई प्रॉबली आई ऑल्सो डोंट यूज पेंसिल to first kind of really do stuff um in this picture as i said for me these two boats are the are the other paramount stuff okay now when you're drawing drawing anything on on a piece of paper which is going to represent the scene the first thing you have to remember is the verticals and the horizontals are have to be absolutely vertical and horizontal the moment the horizontal and verticals are not kind of really aligned your picture will start looking skewed so before you start sketching with pen directly try practicing uh, on a random piece of paper and this i do normally as well when i'm sitting down with a piece of paper or a pad i normally also kind of really start sorry i normally also keep keep kind of drawing lines and kind of really horizontal lines and draw circles and kind of see If my lines are getting vertical, guys, बहुत बहुत बार क्या होता है आप 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 अपनी copy टेढ़ी करके draw करते हैं और lines हमेशा ऐसे बन जाते हैं, okay? And then the whole perspective and the whole uh, horizon kind of it looks like कि सारी buildings गिर रही हैं. So make sure when you are starting to sketch, your lines are particularly vertical and horizontal. अगर आपको प्रॉब्लम हो रही है तो ट्राई कैन ऑफ रियली हैविंग अ ग्रिड पेपर एंड उसके अलोंग लाइंस ड्रॉ करने की प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं आप दैट्स व्हाट आई वुड प्रेफर इफ यू आर नॉट वेरी श्योर ऑफ योर वर्टिकल्स एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल्स एंड आई हैव सीन लॉट ऑफ पीपल डोंट इवन रियलाइज कि उनके वर्टिकल्स एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल्स थोड़े टेढ़े हो रहे हैं ओके सो 
मैं कोशिश करूंगा बात करते करते स्केच करूं बट इफ नॉट देन यू कैन कीप आस्किंग क्वेश्चन टू मी एज सच ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग माई होल थिंग एज एम एज एम स्केचिंग आउट एज सच ओके ओके सो मैं नॉर्मली कुछ डॉट्स डालने की कोशिश करता हूँ जस्ट कैन ऑफ रियली गेट द स्केल ऑफ इट एंड दीज डॉट्स आर प्राइमरली आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग एट फ्यू पॉइंट इन द in the uh, in my perspective and i actually kind of see ki mai us perspective ko align kar raha hu ki nahi okay and at times i also kind of really uh, distort certain things or kind of make certain things visible because mujhe lagta hai ki wo visible hone se shayad wo zyada acha dikhega like for example this corner of the board is visible so is not visible but i want to make it visible so i'm doing it visibly uh try drawing it and and as when you're starting to draw with pen and ink pen as such try can kind of really be very free with the pen don't be don't be very uh don't draw very slowly okay because once you draw slowly the expression the expression that you want to give uh will die off okay so there is a there is a small tent on top of or both these boards okay so i'm just drawing the stems and i'll see you'll see how how fast this will come to life okay i think the whole thing this is this is the horizon line that i am trying to draw here uh, there's a small house on top of the hill there's a small house there or kind of a i'm not at all precise about the things okay if you see my my lines are not very precise i'm just kind of really very very uh, loose about and there's one boat on the side okay if you see there's one boat on the side which is here as well okay uh ek bar aap uh once you start drawing actually uh, you'll start realizing that certain shapes uh, define certain things like a boat is basically a trapezium with a line in between okay and and as you are actually building your stuff you'll start realizing that uh things are things are very uh, very easy to draw when you start recognizing the shapes in itself there is a small crane here okay so i'm going to just draw a crane uh and cranes ke kuch uh, trusses hote hain and you don't have to be very precise about the trusses but yeah and kind of trusses ek crane yahan pe hain kuch 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 chote mote cranes yahan pe bhi lage hue hain and is jagah pe hain और और यहाँ कुछ कुछ छोटी छोटी चीजें हैं कुछ छोटे छोटे बोट्स एट द एंड भी होंगे बिकॉज ये हार्बर है तो मे बी देर सम बोट्स एट द एंड ओके नाइफ यू सी आई एम नॉट ड्रॉइंग आई एम नॉट ड्रॉइंग आई एम ड्रॉइंग आई एम ड्रॉइंग दिस पार्ट राइट आई एम नॉट कैन ट्राइंग टू कैप्चर एवरीथिंग अराउंड द द होल थिंग या एंड देन ये जो हल है एंड कुछ चीजों को एग्जेजरेट करूंगा मैं लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट दिस टू गो विथ टॉलर एंड दैट्स हाउ इट गोज विथ टॉलर एंड वेन आई वेन कुल्स वॉज टॉकिंग टू मी अबाउट वॉट टॉपिक शुड आई एक्चुअली रियली बी टॉकिंग अबाउट and i was like uh mujhe topic samajh nahi aa raha tha because what do i do say ki uh, pen and ink kya bolu main usko and then i said ki no let me just put a topic which is uh romancing with uh uh pen and ink uh, or oh, sorry romancing with values okay and uh, to me i realized this the power of value uh, when i was actually trying to uh, get into some lessons and uh, i don't know how many of you i don't know how to pronounce this name there was a there's a artist called thomas color who is also an uh, uh, architect and uh, he is a very famous architect and an absolutely brilliant piece of work that he does but looking at his work and the way he starts to do stuff he always sketches his values first before doing anything okay 
and i was really impressed by the amount of work that he puts into his value sketching to be able to really create a scene okay and that's where i thought that you know uh, values are one of the most important part of uh, i would say uh, uh, your sketching as such or kind of really your drawing or your painting once you get your values right i think everything falls in place in itself there's nothing else that you and you will see you will see this whole scene coming alive uh, very alive with just the gray scales in itself and you'll start seeing the harbor and you'll start seeing the whole thing as such okay so that's my sketch if you look at this is this is what my uh, picture is and this is what my pen uh, pen sketch looks like okay and i'm i'm just making some random marks you know and these random marks actually uh generally starts to uh, attain meaning uska meaning aa jata hai agar aas paas ki cheeze defined for example uh, agar main yahan pe ek dot dal dun abhi because ye harbor hai you'll start seeing them as birds okay uh, yahi cheez agar main uh, uh, ek katori mein dots dal dun to wo chini lagne lagega okay so basically ye jo random cheeze hum karte hain Uh, वो अपने आप मीनिंग आना शुरू हो जाता है ट्राई कैन बी एज एक्सप्रेसिव एंड एज रैंडम एज पॉसिबल एज वेल ओके सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ गेटिंग द फर्स्ट स्टफ द फर्स्ट लेयर इज ऑब्वियसली दिस इंक दैट आई हैव डन हियर और द पेन दैट आई हैव एक्चुअली ड्रॉन विद द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई डू इज टेक द मोस्ट लाइटेस्ट वैल्यूज एंड आई ट्राई टू कैन ऑफ रियली मार्क आउट द लाइट ओके uh saying that where is the light coming from and i'm taking the direction of the light coming from this side okay like this side is where the light is coming from which means that all these portions which are facing the light is going to be lighter okay and uh, even with the most lightest of uh values that i'm adding to it okay you will start seeing you start seeing the picture much much clearly okay and abhi to main because iske halke shadows aayenge yahan pe in the in the water and since water mein reflection bhi aata hai i also can of ready draw some verticals which are in the shadow area okay and you'll start seeing how how this so this is the lightest value that i'm trying to now put here um also because i want to highlight a bit of sky i will kind of really add the sky to it as well now this is my focal point so first what i will do is i try to concentrate and make sure my focal point whichever or whatever i am trying to do here at the focal point is absolutely clear okay it's best to uh, is best to carry a, a scratch pad on the side so that whenever you are trying to use a particular marker you before you put it on paper you kind of try to see what is the darkness that you are trying to achieve here okay so in this case because this is in the shadow area i am going to make this boards visible and uh, this boards have a line which is coming on the top normally boards have this have this uh, kind of a, a paint which is there which cuts, cuts across which actually makes them look like a board okay i have always kind of really try to uh, struggle with how do how do you make Uh, a boat look like a boat and the moment you put those lines the moment you have those two two shadows i think it starts to look like a boat nothing more you have to do okay these are the tents which are there and obviously the tent uh, i'll see if i want to highlight the tent any more as such and uh, okay and this is the mid value that i'm trying to do okay what 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 we are seeing is is the mid value you can actually try to uh, 
So there are three three basic values. There's the mid tones, uh, the white, the mid tones, and the darkest tone that you actually really use uh, to make a picture come alive. Okay, normally when you're working with those kind of things, that's what you typically work with. Uh, because I have kind of a, a few more sketch pens, I am actually trying to use a bit more of those colors itself. Okay. And then uh, because if you see this picture now, if you look at this picture very closely, if you see there's a there's a whole darkness which is at this level, okay, which is the most darkest of all the stuff, which is now which is a, what I'm going to attempt, which is pure. It's a it's a it's a darkest black that I have right now, and I'm going to start putting some of the darkest values around, okay, so that and near the shore there is near the horizon there is a bit of darkness here. Okay. And I just draw a few windows just to if you even if you draw one or two windows, it starts look it starts to look like uh, it's a building. Okay, there's there's nothing to it. There's nothing more to it. Um, you shouldn't kind of really struggle too much to draw buildings as such. If, if they are the background, if they are the foreground, definitely. But if you are the, the background, then uh, try to kind of really be slightly more free about your buildings as such. Now, if you see when I'm actually trying to put the values at the back, okay, I'm just trying to leave some spaces in between. Okay, let's just, if you see the white spaces which are getting created when, I, when I'm actually trying to move my pen uh, as such. And these are the things that you actually, when sketching, try to learn. Okay, because the moment, as I said, the moment uh, you leave certain things at uh, the white spaces, it starts to capture light from the painting and suddenly it starts to attain a meaning and it can be any meaning. You might actually see it as a board. Somebody might see it as another house, which is there. Somebody might actually see a person standing there. So if you, if you look at, uh, if you look at actually the way paintings are interpreted, you will never be there standing in front of uh, the user or, or the, the, the onlooker. Okay, so normally what happens is that you actually try to give clues to people and then the people actually will try to interpret stuff themselves. Okay. The vertical lines are the ones which are kind of capturing the reflection of the of the water. Okay, and uh, as I said, you can actually as you as you as you're moving away from the paper, you can be slightly more lighter because it starts to capture more light because the shadows are all concentrated in this area. That's where the uh, that's where the whole focal point is. I'll draw some roof tiles because roof is filled with tiles. So I'll add some of these stuff which is there uh on it and then uh i will start doing something which is going to make it look like more like a board okay which is this part okay this is the hull which actually carries the uh thing that actually really helps the boat move from one direction to another And uh, can I draw some ropes coming from it? Okay. And since it's a harbor, there might be more boats which are at the back, okay, which you only see a bits and pieces of it, okay, which is okay. And you don't have to be all kind of straight here. So it just kind of adds a bit of uh, population to the to the harbor itself you can also have some light poles and kind of really some wires which is typical of me i like uh, wires and stuff so if you see my drawings i have wires all around which is floating by uh, the scene is getting formed now okay the scene you almost kind of seeing the boat here you're almost kind of able to uh, figure out that 
these are two boats which are standing there uh, in the harbor. And uh, since uh, since there's a lot of kind of really darkness here, I might kind of really uh, I might add some bit of darkness in the background as well, which will uh, which will denote some vegetation at the back. Okay, because there's some amount of vegetation which is there at the back. Now I'm not going to be absolutely precise about it, so I'm just going to add a bit of darkness around it. So it also kind of helps me highlight those tents a bit better. Uh, And uh, now that, that sorry, oh, oh that's beautiful. So, thank you. Uh, and just to just to kind of really add some highlights here, uh, it's not here on this picture, but I want to add some color to it. Okay, now I want to add some color, which actually what where can the color be? The color can be the boats, or the color can be the tents. Now, if you see in India, we have lots of tents which are very colored. If you go to those fishing boats, so what I do is that I'll start adding. A bit of color to it, okay. Okay, the Posca markers actually uh, uh, are very thick markers. Uh, they they work as opaque markers uh, as well. Uh, and maybe a red tint as well. It's got two red. Uh, we have to mute it down a bit. We'll see how to, to mute it. But actually, there are two tents. And if I if I actually roll my alcohol markers on top of it after a while, it might actually just mute it a bit, okay? Because I bahut zada wo bright dikh rahe. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, you mistake ki baat kar raha tha. Sometimes sometimes some mistakes happen, and you actually just have to live with the mistakes. That's that's absolutely fine with living with the mistake, okay? And उसके बाद हम क्या करेंगे कुछ हम whites ये white post का marker है I'll kind of really just randomly put some dots around here which actually might start denoting some boats uh, as well some lights uh, some highlights of certain things which is happening here now if you see here there are small little things which you can see okay there's a uh, the tire which is painted white which is here so you can actually just add those stuff okay and 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 can really see if and these are there's something that you don't have to really plan for okay and even some vertical lines with the white might just add a bit of character to it mm. and on the water if you add white lines it actually just uh because you know water captures light very well and 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 actually really when see once once those highlights kind of come to light you start seeing it as water Okay, so so yeah, I mean, uh, I might want to darken uh, the bit uh, more on the bottom. I don't know if it's going to look nice or not, but nevertheless, I'm going to do it. And if you see, um, these are those lines which are which are ropes which are coming out. So wherever it's in dark, you can actually uh, just use a bit of white uh, to make them come out. And the reason why I have these ropes is to just emphasize on the perspective, on the depth of it, because it's, it's it starts to come out, okay? And you suddenly start seeing these ropes as uh, lines of perspective okay and then you can have some vertical lines and add it and i'm just randomly doing some stuff okay now if you see this is this is a harbor scene that i could actually do sorry yeah okay now obviously i've not kind of really made the board blue i have actually started to make the tent kind of really stuff you can actually choose to do your boat blue or a boat white or a boat red as well uh, whatever you want to uh, but this is my interpretation of the scene in itself okay now uh, you can keep adding stuff okay you can keep adding stuff to make your picture look like for example if i 
as i said if i start kind of really making dots which are around and you st suddenly start seeing them as as birds which are flying okay uh try not kind of really scattering it too much away from the focal point because people have to come and see this okay this is the focal point here so don't kind of start putting dots all around uh try having dots more nearer to the even the birds don't fly like that high so so make sure you are actually uh nearer to that whole thing as such and yeah i mean that's that's my first sketch that i could uh do and this is how fast i am sketching this how fast actually i even uh try to sketch if i'm actually sitting outdoors because uh if i if i take too much time then i actually lose the essence of the place i will kind of start making more than what is required for capturing uh, this point um just remembered maybe uh, you know uh, indian boards have this whole uh, some some things written on it just add those with bits and pieces of details which are there uh it just adds a bit of value to it uh yeah uh so i'm going to pause here a bit and uh, let you guys uh, maybe uh, a bit of you can ask me questions around and you can talk to me uh, uh, should i actually change the focus of the camera because there is another sketch that i can do but i think it's it's best to wait for some time and then have some questions and then kind of really take it forward from there yeah yeah sure agar kisi ke paas koi bhi sawal hai aur abhi is abhi ek aur sketch karenge tane sir usse pehle koi kuch bhi sawal puchna chahta hai to please aap puch sakte hain sir aapne kaun sa pen use kiya hai please mention kar dijiye ये शार्पी का अल्ट्रा फाइन पॉइंट पेन यूज कर रहा हूं मैं स्केचिंग के लिए जो स्केच के जिसमें करता हूं नॉर्मली वैसे और भी बहुत सारे मेरे पास पेन्स हैं या कि स्टेडलर का पेन है बट आई लाइक ये ये मुझे सबसे अच्छा लगता है बिकॉज एक तो ये सस्ता है आ, और मैं काफी सारा खरीद देता हूँ एक एक टाइम पे डेढ़ सौ रुपये में दो मिलते हैं सो काफी सारा एक साथ में खरीद लेता हूँ सर ऐसा ऐसा करूंगा ना मैं क्योंकि मैं बाकी मटेरियल के बारे में तो काफी नॉलेज रहती है ये कुछ नया है तो मैं ना आपसे इसके बाद इसके बारे में सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन लूंगा और जैसे ही हम कल पोस्ट करेंगे आपका ये आर्टवर्क कलारम के पेज पर तो उसमें साथ में मटेरियल को भी मैं इस बार मेंशन कर दूंगा ताकि सभी को जो भी इसको ट्राई करना चाहते है ना तो वो सभी के लिए इजी हो जाए ये बहुत मजेदार है सर और अच्छा है उन सभी के लिए क्योंकि काफी प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है जब आउटडोर में जाते हैं और इतना सामान लेकर जाना सभी के लिए पॉसिबल भी नहीं हो पाता उस वजह से कई लोग रिस्ट्रिक्ट करते हैं बाहर प्लेन एयर में जाने के लिए बट ये तो दूसरी चीज दूसरा एडवांटेज ये है कि इतनी फास्ट अगर स्केच करते हो ना ये आपका आई ऑल्सो यूज दिस एज माई बेस फॉर वाटर कलर सो वाटर कलर के पहले अगर आप वैल्यू स्केचिंग करते हो इसके बाद अगर मैं इसको डिटेल में बनाना चाहता हूँ इन वाटर कलर्स मेरे लिए बहुत आसान हो जाता है ये सीन क्रिएट रिक्रिएट करना बिकॉज इट्स इट इट वर्क एज द फर्स्ट स्केच इज वेड ऑल दो मैं काफी बार नहीं करता हूँ लेकिन अगर मुझे वाटर कलर करना भी है वाटर कलर भी करना है अगर सो दिस स्टेज इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेज बिकॉज इफ यू सी इन ग्रे आई कैन फिगर आउट दैट दिस इज अ हार्बर दैट आई ड्रॉन okay with reflections and also you don't then then during the water color you're not thinking too much you're just kind of really playing with the colors then hi panay this is monica i have hi. a question hi tell me i have recently started painting and i'm more into portraits that too from pictures okay no uh, faces okay. Basically. and uh, because it's a new thing for me um, what i realize is i mean the idea in portrait is to get it as close as to the picture so there were few things that you spoke of no like exaggeration ya yeah, fir uh, mm -hmm. random uh, things being added right even ignoring the elements and focusing on the so ignoring i think okay we can i mean i can i can try <laughs> but the rest of the thing which is imagining or exaggerating uh, right now i find it very difficult to visualize uh, so what okay. would you advise there i mean what can be See, done i think 
See, I'm, I'm, I'm sure uh, Nishikant is there to talk about portraiture. He is, is one of the uh, greatest artists around us uh, who does portrait. But in my opinion, I think portraits uh, do have a limitation of representing actually the person who is sitting there. Okay. Uh, which makes it difficult to uh, be very expressive. But uh, if you, if, if I have to, uh, people who exaggerate and people who actually still kind of make people resemble are the ones who draw caricatures. Okay. Uh, uh, they are the ones who very easily kind of really enhance uh, uh, the nose or the ears or the lips or the eyes. Uh, and even with those kind of small little features, uh, they get uh, the value out of it. Uh, I mean, the uh, the resemblance out of uh, the whole thing. So in terms of, I mean, the kind of randomness that I can show on landscape, uh, because there are many elements and they, because there are too many kind of uh, things at play, and uh, I, I'm not kind of really exactly copying the uh, picture. It's easier. It's much easier. With portraiture, I think it is difficult. I don't, I, I mean, that's what yeah, my no, opinion no, is. No, what I meant is because I do so much of portrait, I find it difficult when I try and do something like oh, this. You, yeah. Okay, you, when you go to landscape, you become yeah. almost yeah, like a I'm portrait. Still, kind yeah, of yeah. And then it, <laughs> okay. So then it's difficult to do this magic because you see so much of uh, clutter. And yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's see, why... Uh, yeah. You know, uh, the way I actually started looking at uh, landscape, uh, I mean, I also studied architecture and and similar to you, when I st initially started the whole thing, because I studied architecture, I used to see architecture a lot. Uh, so, I window ke details, I door ke details, I saw molding ke details, sab kuch zyada dikhte the thode. Uh, with time, over time, I realized that the details ko jitna kam karenge, utna, uh, uska value bad raha hai. So I started looking at larger shapes uh, and seeing that if 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 a certain kind of shape define a certain kind of thing, okay, uh, like as I said, uh, to like for example, if I have to uh, draw uh, draw a car, okay. For me, a car is basically nothing nothing more than few rectangles, okay. That's that's my car. Okay, that's that's how I draw a car. Uh, and and suddenly I started. I otherwise I'll kind of keep drawing. I mean I can definitely draw a car which is looking much better to see as such. Okay. Yes. And and I can because I right now know the shape of a car. I can make it look much like a car. But essentially, even if you draw a three rectangles, it starts to look like a car, isn't it? Okay, so with time, I think I would recommend that start looking at bigger shapes, start looking at uh, shapes which actually can define uh, certain things. Uh, the way I draw boats is basically, sorry, not like that. Okay, is like that. Okay, it's it's a trapezium with with this kind of a thing. Okay, that's that's a boat for me. Okay, nothing. I mean, obviously, I can actually try to make it make it very very similar to what it is. But for me, I think I have started to look at larger shapes of things and simplified shapes of things to be able to really exaggerate them. Okay, that's how I actually started uh, uh, started to kind of experiment with it. And I think it comes mostly with practice. I think the more you draw, the more you actually start realizing that what details actually you need to put and what you don't. Uh, and similar to your portraiture work, suddenly for me, drawing a portrait is like a nightmare. Uh, uh, I'm sure it's much easier for you. So the more I will do portrait, probably it become easier for you as well. The more you do, the more you realize that uh, these are the these are the simplified things that you can do to create a landscape. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Am I audible? Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, two, two, two questions. Uh, Sarpi is is Sarpi uh, waterproof? Uh, like ultra fine. Sorry. Point. Is Sharpie yeah, the yeah, pen? Yeah. Is yeah, Sharpie, is, Sharpie, Sharpie, is, Sharpie, is, Sharpie is waterproof, yes. With alcohol okay. markers, it might smudge a bit, but mostly it's waterproof. Second question is, why have you done this composition in a, a vertical, like uh, as a portrait mode, not in a horizontal mode? Oh, good question. Okay. Uh, uh, if I if I look at this picture, the more sky I will put, see... Um, Somehow I just felt that uh, if I if I actually bound the picture like this, uh, it gives a slightly more better view for me for this verticality verticality that I have I have have got in these boats and more of sky and this will cover one third of my picture. 
Now the the reason the reason that I have it on the bottom of the page is because of the one third rule. It just kind of puts the composition slightly better uh, than in a landscape, I would say. Uh, but no, actually, I I don't know. I mean, right now I'm just kind of putting an explanation. But I think I don't know. I th I thought it's looking much better as a vertical composition. Maybe and because of this vertical lines here. Do you also recommend us to do like uh like as a beginner? uh recommend us doing it in a gray uh like mode or in the values like monotone yes or... yes i would i mean as as a beginner to any art form i think uh doing monotones uh gives you an idea much better idea of uh shape size volume okay than actually color uh color is very secondary to uh, uh in my opinion it's very secondary to uh, uh an art form once your values are right i think your painting will uh, start to emerge much better and the artist you named is thomas wells color like 1956 right? yeah yes 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 uh he also uses a duo tone in his watercolors it's mostly uh, two colors that he uses two or three colors that he uses uh but with before anything that he does he does a pencil sketch which is purely a value sketch which i love which i love to kind of really uh, uh, look at what he does as well okay, thank you sir i have another question but i'll ask it at the end like it's a, that's quite was a philosophical life wala how much time uh, how much time did you actually allocate for the whole thing for an hour is it uh ha hum kar sakte hain abhi next sketch shuru nahi nahi there's uh, another question me. I have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm okay with not doing a sketch. I'm actually happy answering the question. Uh, I can actually okay. show some sketches uh, if you want. I'll, yeah. I'll 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 question then. Uh, how do you balance between your design studio life and your art? Like you are into multi multidisciplinary things like architecture, designer, artist, you know, a lot of things. So how uh, do you balance? You mean things? as a life? How do I balance life? <laughs> balance all life also and uh, i don't know i, uh, I think you got some gist of it tanay ji aisa kar aap camera rotate kar lo apni taraf to aapko acche se connect kar payenge ha ha actually just better mujhe wahi lag raha tha ki ye sketch kitni der tak dekhenge hum please that's a very good question or because babbling <laughs> in too many things it's very difficult to keep yourself i don't know form or whatever uh can you see me guys yeah um uh, so thankfully uh i have i have a lot many people working for the company right now i head the company so for me uh it's easier uh, uh i would say at, in terms of managing my time uh, uh the the most easy thing is i don't have to apply for holidays to be honest uh <laughs> i can take holidays yeah, uh, the second sorry the second thing is uh, as 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 i have actually graduated in my art journey i as i said i have actually tried to optimize what i carry and i carry my sketchbook pens and sketch pens everywhere i go even if i'm going on a meeting even if i'm actually traveling i do not leave my sketch pens and my pens and my notebook ever uh and even if i get if is the kind of time that i spent here okay like what i i think i i did the sketch in say 15 20 or half an hour at the max even if i get 15 minutes i do, i actually involve myself into sketching and i try to optimize my day uh i mean or probably my sketching journey in that format as well uh yes there are times when uh there is lot of stress that happens because of certain things happening around but i think that's in part and parcel of the life as long as as long as uh, you see art as also a stress buster for me when i actually am in stress i actually also go and sketch because uh that removes my a bit of my uh stress as well so for me it is more uh, a meditation rather than actually a work that i'm actually managing uh other than that i have a uh, i have a 19 year old son who is no longer lives with us he's in boston so i have no child to take care anymore uh so <laughs> i'm an empty nester uh as long as i get food uh, which also now swiggy has made it easier so if there's no cook then i actually call for food uh and my life is settled so in that format i'm not kind of really having too many responsibilities on my head as such 
तो आर्टिस्ट थोड़े से सेंसिटिव होते हैं सो यू हैव मेड योरसेल्फ मोर ऑफ एन आर्टिस्ट लाइक जहां भी आई सर्च अबाउट यू ऑन द इंटरनेट सो हाउ डू यू डील विद द मार्केट लाइक और वो कंपनी के लोग और कॉर्पोरेट लाइफ और हाउ डू यू यू नो टेक अ कॉल सी आई आई रन आई रन द कंपनी आई रन द कंपनी फॉर आई एम स्टिल रनिंग द कंपनी फॉर लास्ट 20 इयर्स सो इट्स लाइक नाउ obviously the second other generation is also taking over as such and i am actually trying to move out uh, in terms of making sure my art journey kind of takes precedence so what you see when you search for me is actually uh, i actively promoting myself as an artist right now uh, i am also uh, involved in other startup with art uh, which is using more uh, ar and vr technologies using art as such which is uh, which is in the making uh it's a tech product that i am in the i am making so my my whole idea is that my persona changes from being a designer or entrepreneur to an artist so that's the reason why you see so much of art which is there hi uh, can i ask a question yep 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 yes yes uh, how do you choose your subject like what you want to draw because there will be so many things when we go out and uh, how do you uh, see for me i might feel like oh i don't know whether if i draw this it will be good or you know it will come like whether it will be worth drawing so so many questions come to the mind also when you see online there will be so many pictures and you i end up getting confused whether i should draw this or that or whether these are any subjects to draw so like that how do you choose your subject what is that you want to draw in your outside so there there are two ways to uh, that i actually do okay so um, and this is probably uh, from my knowledge of uh, a bit of advertising and bit of design that i have actually studied uh, when you see a movie okay when you see a film uh, obviously film captures is captured through a camera okay but when you actually are looking through film you actually do not kind of really focus on everything which is shown on the screen okay many a times you forget that what's at the background what's at the and you only concentrate on the characters or you only concentrate on a certain like a car moving and you will remember the car but you will not remember the lamp post which is behind the car or there is a mountain behind the car if the car is traveling now uh, uh this is this is a this is a art of composition where you actually try to make sure that whatever out of the whole thing you have to choose what is your story like okay which is which is the object that actually carries your story are you trying to make like for example in this particular uh, picture that i'm i'm doing am i trying to make uh, a harbor am i trying to trying to make a boat am i trying to make a building at the back what exactly is my story okay uh, that story will dictate what will be taking precedence as a focal point uh, and that's exactly what i do the second thing that i do is that once i see a picture or i'm sitting down in a uh, in a place to draw something i typically stare at that particular thing for close to 15 to 20 minutes i just stare at it stare at that particular place and then i turn around i when i'm sketching i just turn around and sketch from memory uh and that's because i think art is a bit of impression and whatever you draw from your memory uh, is the thing that has 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 actually got imprinted in your brain okay that is what you noticed when you were looking at it for 15 20 minutes and everything else you didn't notice so in your mind the story which is built up when you're not looking at it is your impression of the scene so try doing it it's it's it doesn't come very easy uh it takes time for you to realize and not see what's happening behind uh when you turn around and you're trying to sketch try doing it for memory you will suddenly start seeing that your pictures have become more valuable you actually have started to reduce scenes and you start to focus much better uh uh it's a it's 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 a technique that i have actually really uh, uh um i have really kind of try to uh, kind of a uh, look at now if you look at this picture here obviously the two auto rickshaws are in focus okay but obviously there were lot many other things which was happening around when people were walking through the floods there were huts behind there were slums as, as such but the only thing that i could see was these two auto rickshaws okay and uh, in 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 all my in all my drawings if you see there is a very very strong focal point okay 
uh, if you see the focal point in this, this is a this is a sketch from Tel Aviv uh, in Israel, where I saw this awning as 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 very stark. Okay, it was very starkingly. It was it was it was shining in the sunlight, and everything else was uh, was was not kind of really. I didn't I didn't capture. So the moment I turned behind, the only thing that I could see in in my mind I could remember is this awning. Yeah. So if you look at look at these, so these are the techniques that I use typically uh, to be able to uh, 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 try to focus, and that's also the reason that I try not to sketch from a lot of photographs. I try not sketching from pictures. Because in pictures, the camera has already kind of really tried to put a focal point. It has already tried to do a composition. So you're merely copying a composition of somebody else's photograph. Although in this session, I did it. But typically, I wouldn't like to uh, copy a photograph. Uh, that's something that I try to abstain myself from. So try actually going out, try kind of sitting down, even if you're if you're a beginner. Try kind of really starting starting as a beginner to go out and sketch because once you get used to drawing from a photograph, it's very very difficult to come out of a photograph uh, because you start kind of really trying to copying the perspective lines and all those kind of things from the photograph and that habit I think is not great if you are trying to become an artist. Thanks, that the memory tip trip was really great and try that. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. किसी का और कोई सवाल है तो पूछ सकते हैं आज तने सर अपना पूरा एक्सपीरियंस शेयर कर रहे हैं काफी अच्छा भी लग रहा है और एक काफी इंटरेक्टिव सेशन हो रहा है कोई और भी कोई सवाल पूछना चाहता है तो पूछ सकते हैं so like you select like you know what catches your eye i the first moment you seeing that you want to picture this so is it the way you go around so like because sometimes the vehicles are moving and you really like suppose there's a car that that is moving that caught your eye like you said something like when you're doing a sketch in mumbai you saw those auto rickshaws so like that is where you place like that is where you put things in your memory that this is the idea i want to Go around with the picture. Oh, absolutely! I mean, that is how do it. And and things what you okay, fine example. For example, auto rickshaw. If I see in a composition, the auto rickshaw is making sense and it is actually having that value. Okay, I I know in my memory, I know how auto rickshaw looks like. Okay, I don't have to have the auto rickshaw standing there all the time for me to copy the auto rickshaw as such. So uh, so for me, certain things and as as an artist, you become a keen observer. You start kind of really, as I said, start looking at basic shapes of things and try remembering it and trying to draw from memory as well after you've seen something. So like for example, if I like a car and I look at the car for some time. i am i'm sure that i will capture the car uh, in its essence i might not be able to really capture exact number of grills and exact number of kind of really uh, uh, embellishments on it but overall the shape and size i will be able to capture and that's a practice that you do uh, with your memory as you go along as an as an artist uh, like for example if you're sketching a hut uh and every child sketches a hut today okay where does he sketches i mean if you tell them to draw if a small child is drawing a a, a scene they will draw a mountain and a hut and it will i mean almost it will look like a mountain and a hut and where does the child learn, learn from the child is learning from its memory they know how a hut looks like because they have seen the hut they have seen the mountains and this is exactly in as you grow as an artist you keep kind of putting your lot of things in your mind how things look like and you keep a library of uh 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 of objects uh, in your mind and mind you okay first the first tip is when when you actually are presenting your artwork nobody is comparing your artwork with the real picture and say hey you know uh this is not there or that is not there okay your your artwork is your reflection of what you wanted to see it's not a photograph so there cannot be a mistake there cannot be a something which is wrong there it is something that you added or deleted as such which is as per your whims and fancies many a times uh, in the market uh, i see a crowded market and i think the auto rickshaw should be there uh, and auto rickshaws are not or probably sab ke sab chale gaye hain 
then I actually just from my memory, I actually just put the auto rickshaw there. It's not nothing. I mean, I, I like the auto rickshaw there and I like the yellowness and the blackness of auto rickshaw and I'll put it there. There's not, it, it need not be there as such. So. I hope you answered. Yeah, thank you so much. Sir. And as I said, in the notebook, try, I mean, when I carry a notebook, don't, don't always think about taking a notebook and drawing uh, big things, okay, big sceneries. Uh, carry a small notebook and keep drawing small things, okay, keep drawing, like, for example, do a flower wash, uh, uh, do, uh, I mean, I don't know, do a pen or uh, do a box, do a tiffin box, do a, do a do a spoon or a fork, draw kind of, keep drawing, okay, keep drawing. Uh, and smaller things in your smaller notebook. Uh, that way is, that is the way you actually start to having, uh, to have a library in your mind. And once you have a library in the mind, that's, that's the power that you have uh, to start imagining things now and putting it into the composition. Uh -huh. <laughs> Any, any other question? Sir, this is a so, Hello. This is, this is a small notebook that I have, okay? This is my notebook. I don't know. Can you see the notebook? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I keep writing and, and, and doing a lot of sketching here as well. Okay, and this is like... the kind of things that I draw here, a bull or whatever. I mean, these are things that I kept on the table and I, I just like it and I draw it. So it's like, so, so that's, that's, I think somebody asked that, how did I, how do I manage my life with sketching? And this, this actually excites me. Okay. Having that pen and paper and sketching everything which is around me is also very exciting and soothing for me as such. And that's how I practice. Yeah. Somebody was asking something. Sorry. You, you, this is a personal yeah. question. You can ignore, ignore, ignore this question. What is your age? Like, you look quite young. You look very energetic. Like this. <laughs> okay. I gave you a hint. Okay. I gave you a hint that my son is 19 year old right now. I was going to do this. But you design kaha se kiya? IDC? IDC, IIT Bombay, yeah. 2001, 2003, like, I just searched your name at that point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you already oh. doing a Google search on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 2001 to 2003. So, Jamal I am actually, uh, I am 47 year old right now. If I have to be honest about my age. Hi, sir, I want to ask okay. a question. Sir. Do you go here? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, so uh, this is a question. I, I'm, I'm basically not uh, trained in art or something like that, right? So I just wanted to understand, uh, like you are trained in art, uh, you were an architect, right? So there is some some part of uh, drawing skills which you acquired through your college or somewhere, right? So yeah. somebody who has not acquired all these skills from your basic uh, education, so what are the steps you need to take when you actually begin? Now, see, basically, I, I can draw well, Maybe it is something inbuilt in me, maybe something like that, right? But I don't know whether I'm practicing it right. I don't know whether I'm going the right direction or not, right? So there are a lot of ifs and buts when I do something, right? Sometimes it comes out good. Sometimes it does not come out good. So mm -hmm. what are the parameters or what, what do what do I look into my things, my drawings, wherein I can correct myself or maybe I can improve on it? I, I don't know how I frame this question, but then I hope I go, oh. you got what I'm trying to ask, right? So I, th I think I think the best way, the kind of thing that Kalaram is doing, the kind of uh, trips and uh, journeys that they take together. Okay, when we go in a group, uh, we always kind of really have an opportunity to look at what other people are doing and also get feedback on what we are doing or how other people are kind of doing different things in a different way. Uh, my personal advice would be to uh, uh, start start kind of going along with artists to these journeys. Uh, these are probably the best times where you can completely get immersed, even if you're a beginner and not having any trained uh, knowledge in art or kind of have not had a degree in art, etc. You start getting tips which might be better than any college can can teach you. Uh, 
uh, and and the amount of variety that you get in these kind of places where you have different artists, different age groups, uh, uh, kind of really trying to sketch, sit down and sketch together. Uh, I think those are those are the those are those are my kind of really tips to get get better. I actually have attended a lot of these uh, uh, trips uh, along with other sketchers uh, and artists, and that has actually just just opened my mind up. Okay. So um, what what you what you what you are trying to tell is that you you uh, at least need to have a interact. mentor or maybe some some interact. some people. Yeah, right. I think interact. I think I think even if you yeah. don't have a mentor or a teacher continuously, because many a times I feel that if you have a continuous mentor, your star, art starts looking like the mentor's art. Correct, uh, correct. Yeah. So so I would and I would advise. See, basically, I'm working, so it is not possible for me to go to classes and stuff, right? So that so, is another the, another hurdle, right now. So. <laughs> So I mean, there is I mean, like for example, Bombay has a urban sketching group, okay, which uh, you can join. Yeah, I have uh, just every... recently started started going to these urban sketching groups. I am basically from Madhya Pradesh, Indore, so this is okay. a very small town, and you don't have too much of art around here, right? So uh, this okay. this is one venture I just started. I am very, matlab, uh, introvert kind of a guy, so I am very skeptical of going out, drawing in the uh, open. That is <laughs> that is another problem I face. Right? But as an artist, but but an artist, I think one thing that you have to get over it is that people are uh, people are actually evaluating and judging your art. Okay, you have to right. get out of that uh, thought process because yeah. uh, I mean there are, there are <clears> people <throat> who do uh, abstract art. There are people who do. I mean Picasso, for example, did everything distorted. I mean nobody can afford really try to question him. Van Gogh did his sky in his own way. Uh, uh, he saw sky, sky like that. I mean, uh, uh, in spirals. Nobody questioned it. Nobody kind of really. Uh, and I, as I said, I'm not doing it for other people. I'm actually doing it for my own own satisfaction. And this is how I see it. Uh, you can distort it. You can actually have as as bad a drawing of a man or a human being, and still feel good about it. That's what the intent is. If you feel good about doing. or kind of capturing what you're capturing in your way i think that's that's fine uh yes you can get better in doing it if you want to draw like michael angelo or uh, great but i am if i'm okay drawing like picasso or am i actually okay with uh, uh jackson pollock's throwing of paints on a uh, on a canvas i am also happy about it so i think stop thinking about that people are looking at your art and judging it uh, then you will actually start feeling good about yourself Understood. Understood. Thank you. Thank you. So and much. and and you will see. And you will see. You know what? And that's exactly what I'm saying. When you will see in these places when you go with other people, that there are so many different styles and things that people are actually doing. So it's not yes, like yes, yes. Uh, you're not like you're alone as such. And uh, everybody is everybody is trying to do exactly the best one there as such. Right. 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 right sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. हाय सर थैंक यू आपने बहुत uh, अच्छी अच्छी टिप्स बताई जो बहुत यूजफुल है एज अ बिगनर हम लोगों के लिए तो एक क्वेश्चन मेरे पास है क्योंकि मैं एज अभी दो तीन साल से पोर्ट्रेट्स वगैरह बना रही हूँ कोविड के टाइम से स्टार्ट mm. किया लाइक like, mm. मेरे को लगता है कि कितने सारे सब्जेक्ट्स हैं पोर्ट्रेट्स है स्टिल लाइफ ड्रॉइंग है एज अ बिगनर हमें सबकी नॉलेज होनी चाहिए बट एट द सेम टाइम लगता है कि टाइम जा रहा है हमें एक अपना स्टाइल जनरेट करना है हमें एक जैसे आपका स्टाइल है पेनिंग का और बहुत प्यारा है निशिकांत सर पोर्ट्रेट्स बहुत अच्छी बनाते हैं स्टिल लाइफ वाटर कलर सब चीज तो एज अ बिगनर मेरा दिमाग बहुत डाइवर्ट होता है कि पोर्ट्रेट एट द सेम टाइम वाटर कलर भी ट्रैक करना चाहिए क्योंकि मैं क्लासेस भी लेती हूँ ऑनलाइन छोटे बच्चों की तो मुझे लगता है उनको नॉलेज देने के लिए हमें भी नॉलेज होनी चाहिए बट एट द सेम टाइम मैं भी लाइक मेरी भी बेटी है और मैं हाउस वाइफ हूँ तो मुझे लगता है मेरा भी टाइम अब जा रहा है तो मुझे कम टाइम पे कैसे अपने आप को इनहेंस करूँ लाइक एक स्टाइल भी जनरेट हो प्लस नॉलेज भी हो आप समझ रहे हैं मेरा क्वेश्चन सर हाँ लेकिन मुझे मुझे ये समझ रहा टाइम कहा जा रहा है टाइम इन द टाइम इन देंस सर की लाइक टाइम उम्र स्टाइल जनरेट करने में उम्र तो सर हो ही है लेकिन लड़कियों की ये क्वेश्चन काफी काफी लोग को काफी बोलते हैं कि हमारा अपना स्टाइल कब कब जनरेट होगा और कैसे जनरेट होगा आई थिंक इसका कोई राइट right आंसर नहीं है वो एक्चुअली कोई एक इंसिडेंट से जनरेट हो जाता है काफी बार वो ओके okay, जैसे मेरे मेरा इंसिडेंट uh, मेरा यूरोप का ट्रिप में मैंने कम चीजें कैरी की 
or suddenly i started seeing this something something new coming out of me so uh, i don't think so aisa koi time frame hai aur aisa koi rule hai ki yahi time frame aur is aise hi style generate hoga uh, something that i would like to tell you is ki do not do not kind of try to copy anybody okay after after learning try putting away everything try kind of not looking at references not try not looking at too many demos try kind of really doing only yourself okay and see what comes out of it uh, uh uh somewhere somewhere you'll start feeling that it is it is your own okay when you don't can copy and you don't see something and draw or kind of you look at a demo and actually try to copy it and you do it on your own then you start owning it तुमको आपको लगेगा ये मैंने किया है ये अपने तरीके से मैंने किया है एंड स्लोली वो आपको वो जब ओन करना शुरू करोगे तो स्लोली आप उस पर उसको एंजॉय करोगे और उसका स्टाइल वो अपने आप डेवलप हो जाएगा वो दैट इज व्हाट आई एक्चुअली थिंक जैसे कि अलका मैम ने बोला ना अलका मैम ने मुझे बोला कि वाटर कलर छोड़ दिया क्या मैंने मैंने वाटर कलर छोड़ा नहीं एक्चुअली काफी बार ऐसा हो रहा था मैं वाटर कलर जब कर रहा था ना तो मैं कॉन्स्टेंटली किसी और को देख के कर रहा था कि ये ऐसे करना है एंड सडनली जब मैंने ये स्केचिंग करना शुरू किया और मार्कर से वो देखा कि यार मैं ज्यादा मुझे ज्यादा मजा आ रहा है इस चीज में करने में एंड आई एम एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू जब मैं एक्सप्रेस करता हूँ कोई चीजें फटाफट वो एक्सप्रेशन मेरा खुद का होता है और ये मैंने कहीं किसी कल को देखा नहीं करते हुए तो मैंने उसको ओन करना शुरू कर दिया कि ये मेरा स्टाइल है ये ये मैं करूंगा सो आई थिंक बहुत ही बहुत ही ऑर्गेनिक है और इसका कोई टाइम नहीं है एज अ साइड ना कभी भी हो जाएगा वो आप लेकिन आपको प्रैक्टिस करना पड़ेगा कि वो आप उसको टाइम दो कि आप खुद को डिस्कवर करने का टाइम दो आप कॉन्स्टेंटली सिर्फ डेमोज और ये देखोगे तो वो नहीं हो पाएगा आई डोंट थिंक सो दैट्स द राइट वे टू डू इट ओके सर नाइस आंसर थैंक यू ध्यान भी रखूंगी ये वाली बात सर आपको कितने साल हो गए ये इंकिंग का करते हुए कितने साल हो गए आपको सिर्फ ये वाले पैटर्न को करते हुए लाइक सो uh, so, पहले मैं वाटर कलर कर रहा था बहुत कलर्ड फिर मैं वाटर कलर्स को रिड्यूस करके सिर्फ तीन कलर्स यूज करता था इंडिगो बर्न सियना एंड व्हाइट ओके तीन तीन पेंट्स रखते थे मेरे पास उसके उससे मैं पूरा पूरा चीज करता था एंड दिस स्टाइल आई एम एक्चुअली आई थिंक इट्स बीन अयर राइट नाउ एक साल से मैं सिर्फ ये कैरी कर रहा हूँ ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट्स पे बट uh, इसके पहले मैं वैल्यू स्केचिंग हमेशा करता था even in watercolors now i always used to do value sketching i never kind of started doing uh, directly watercolors as such so somehow i understood i understood ki aur mujhe values apne value sketches mujhe hamesha zyada acche lagte the watercolors se so uh, so so that's how that's how i did it sir related question hai there is a related question like this abhi sir You went towards simplification, right? So, आप पहले बहुत कुछ कैरी करते थे बैग और चेयर एंड ऑल देन आपने कुछ लिमिटेड चीज है आपका डिजिटल काम काफी कम है सो वट इज दर्पज लाइक वट इज द लॉजिक बिहाइंड नॉट नॉट डूइंग गेटिंग वन मोर क्वेश्चन इज डिजिटल ओके या आईपैड से आप बस रिफरेंस लेते हो आप यहाँ पे पेन देर या पे पाइप जस्ट यूजिंग एट एज रिफरेंस बट आई है और दूसरा कुछ ऐसा टर्निंग पॉइंट रहा या कुछ ऐसा सब्जेक्ट किया है या कुछ इन्फ्लुएंस रहा है आपका या कोई ऐसे टीचर है थ्री क्वेश्चन Uh, पहला क्वेश्चन मैं आईपैड पे uh, करता हूँ काफी काम करता हूँ आईपैड पे एक्चुअली uh, पर मैं बहुत पब्लिश नहीं करता हूँ आईपैड वाला काम बिकॉज मेरे को वो एक्चुअली थोड़ा सा आई डोंट नो एज ए साइड ना मैं उसको ओन अप नहीं कर पाता हूँ कि ये काम मेरा ही है द मेन मेन प्रॉब्लम इज की उसमें अंडू बटन है uh, और वो अंडू बटन ना बहुत ही फेक लगता है मुझे द मोमेंट द मोमेंट आई डू अंडू एक्चुअली मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि मैंने कुछ तो झूठ किया है इसके साथ सो so, मुझे मैं करता हूँ काफी बार आईपैड पे अपना काम बट uh, मैं उसको ज्यादा प्रमोट नहीं करता हूँ ज्यादा द सेकेंड इज एंड वेन आई एम डूइंग अ बिगर पीस ऑफ आर्ट एंड मैं अपने आईपैड पे काफी स्केच करता हूँ मैंने काफी काफी डिटेल में 
उसके वैल्यू को स्टडी करता हूँ अपने आईपैड पे उसको लेयरिंग को स्टडी करता हूँ बिफोर आई एक्चुअली गेट इनटू द बिगर पीसेस एज सच द सेकंड इज क्वेश्चन यू आस्क इज अबाउट द एआई आर्ट एम आई स्केयर्ड ऑफ एआई आर्ट इज नो नो लाइक बी नो नो लाइक द नॉट यू बिकॉज आपका जनरेशन कुछ और है सो द कमिंग जनरेशन क्योंकि यू कम फ्रॉम यू नो लाइक आपका डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस भी है यू आई यूएक्स भी यू रन अ स्टूडियो ऑफ योर ओन एंड यू आल्सो डू आर्ट सो आई थिंक यू कैन योर आंसर वुड बी थोड़ा सा बहुत I mean, I'm looking for your answer. Okay. Is so, AI art scary? Like, we should be scared of AI art. How so? Okay. So, first, first, foremost thing, a AI as a as a concept is there to stay. Okay. It's not going anywhere, and it's not only going to change. Uh, ये हम सिर्फ हमारा life change नहीं करने वाला है. वो काफी सारे लोगों की life को change करने वाला है. The way we are going ahead as such. Now, uh, will should artist be uh, be feeling insecure that AI मेरे से अच्छा आर्ट बना रहा है आई डोंट थिंक सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज बिकॉज इफ यू लुक एट द हिस्ट्री वेन द वेन पीपल इन द इन द इन द प्रीवियस टाइम्स आर्टिस्ट यूज टू एक्चुअली ड्रॉ लाइक फोटोग्राफ्स ओके दे एक्चुअली डिड एग्जैक्टली द कॉपी ऑफ वॉट अ सीन इज लाइक एंड वेन देन द कैमरा केम इन द मोमेंट कैमरा केम इन uh people actually thought the artist ki zarurat nahi hai then artist actually graduated themselves to making more impressionist as an as as their stuff they became more impressionist they didn't kind of really copy it but they actually started expressing and when impressions got into the into a zone where people started kind of really seeing all impressions the same people moved into abstract art which is actually a, a deeper uh, uh, expression of your soul okay it is not something that you see it's something that you feel okay it is what is coming out as an abstract art uh, so every time there is an innovation which happens in technology i think uh, it actually gives more value to the people who do it with their human uh, intellect so the more ai art is going to become popular the more value is going to be given to people drawing with their hand and paper because what does ai going to do ai is going to make every other if aap mid journey le lo aap mid journey mein koi bhi expression dalo aapko after a while samajh mein aa jayega ki ye jo art hai na wo mid journey ne banaya hai okay ye art is created by ai and not by human and when anybody can create an art using that ai then the value of the human created stuff is going to get much higher the way uh, as simple fab india pe aap ek kurte ko zyada ka zyada price dete ho because wo handloom se aata hai okay because you know that the value of handloom is much higher than a machine made cloth okay so i think uh, i am not scared i think mujhe to lag raha hai ki ai ko aur popular hona chahiye the more popular it will get the better value that i'll get for my paintings because people will say oh apne haath se banaya hai kya ye then to i'll pay for more okay so i think i think i'm not scared of it the second is ai is definitely going to help us in many ways uh, although there are a lot of uh, uh, scary stuff which is going to happen as well is what i am actually prepared for but ai in itself like film making mein ai use ho raha hai to be able to desi- decide shots okay uh, अभी हम अपने डिजाइन में यूज करते हैं इस चीज को टू क्रिएट पैटर्न्स ऑफ यूजर एक्सपीरियंस कैसे चीजें कन्वीनियंट कर रहे हैं लोग टू बी एबल टू मेक श्योर दैट एआई एक्चुअली गिव्स मी दैट आंसर बिकॉज इट कैन रीड हंड्रेड्स एंड मिलियंस ऑफ डेटा पॉइंट्स एंड गिव मी एन आंसर अबाउट हाउ अर डिजाइन शुड बी बट एज एन आर्ट आई थिंक आई एम लेस केयर बिकॉज आर्ट आई मीन आई आई हैव ऑलवेज गॉन टू दुबई वर्ल्ड आर्ट फॉर द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स and i think uh, year before last there was a whole section given to ai art they had actually created a whole section for ai art and this year they didn't have any of those sections okay they had removed it uh, there was no nfts there was no uh, ai art which was given a separate section so i think the value of as an artist will grow uh, the more the digital stuff will come into picture the more value it will get, will be given to our hands is what i think uh, in my opinion There was one more question, like yeah, I forgot. From, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you come from a you know the, um uh you have a journey that you have lived so far. I mean, yeah. art be here, the uh design be here, architecture be here. So is there any? Up now you are doing art, like you know, core art, and you are promoting yourself as an artist, like you said. Yeah. 
तो भी आपका कुछ ऐसा आई मीन टर्निंग पॉइंट रहा है व्हिच वाज जो डिसीजन यू नो लाइक व्हिच हेल्प यू टू डिसाइड बीइंग व्हाट यू आर डूइंग राइट नाउ और कुछ ऐसा बेस्ट कोच या रहा है या कोई इन्फ्लुएंस या कोई uh, ऐसे कोई मेंटर रहे समथिंग अब डिफिकल्ट है सिंगल मेंटर करना बट वन ऑफ द टर्निंग पॉइंट्स वाज आई लिव्ड इन लंदन फॉर 5 इयर्स बिफोर आई केम बैक टू इंडिया uh and london was the place where i actually kind of saw uh, how art is celebrated okay uh london is the art capital of the world okay and uh the way i actually saw uh, art and artist and stuff people actually really talking about it uh, was a was a big turning point for me to see it in a in a much much different light uh till that time while in india i was only seeing artist which was around me and uh, scale jo uh, scale pe art uh, uh, europe ya us mein just uh, this scale pe log karte hain experiments i think that is something which was a turning and and, and today as well i think uh, hamare artist in india we experiment quite less hum kafi kam experiment karte hain apne uh, technique se leke और काफी बार हम जस्ट टू कैन फेली वी आल्सो एक्चुअली गेट वेरी यूज टू आर वे ऑफ वर्किंग एंड वी डोंट वांट टू ब्रेक इट तो काफी बार हम बिकॉज वो अच्छा लग रहा है हम वही करते ही जाते हैं और और उससे ब्रेक करने का वो करेज नहीं होता है वो टर्निंग पॉइंट था मेरे लिए लंदन जाके देखने के लिए कि लोग ना अपने आप को चैलेंज करते हैं हर एक हर एक साल हर एक कुछ अपने आप को चैलेंज कर रहे हैं वो सो आई थिंक for me uh, uh, the journey that i have taken is basically exactly reflecting that i i actually hate getting into a rut mujhe mujhe bore ho jata hu main bahut jaldi aur main abhi bhi bol raha hu ho sakta hai main pen and ink se bore ho jaau okay and something else will come out of it uh, and apne aap ko challenge karte rehna is something that as an artist i would say is is very important because that's how you will graduate otherwise uh you will get bored you will as an artist we are imaginers we are actually thinkers we are actually people who want to create and we can't keep creating the same thing over and over again so that's a turning point i would say london was a turning point for me to see the world differently uh if any of you have opportunity to go abroad have means to go abroad and visit around the world please go ahead and do it please go ahead and do it there's nothing better use of the money than to see the world to be honest when did you go there and why did you go there like for his policy so uh, i sold my first company in 2006 and uh, it was bought over by a company in london uh, and that's how i went to london for 5 years i was there for 5 years 2006 to 2010 i was there okay to sir yahan par main beech mein pata nahi aapki baatein sunte sunte mujhe aise lag raha hai ki na aapke is sawal ne is jawab ne आपके पिछले जवाब को काउंटर कर दिया बता दीजिए <laughs> कौन से जवाब का <laughs> मैं बताता हूँ <laughs> मैं भूल भी गया <laughs> हाँ मैं बताता हूँ मैं बताता हूँ एक अच्छा कभी वही होता है जो एक ही चीज का नेगेटिव भी बता सके उसका पॉजिटिव भी तो ऐसा ही था जब किसी ने आपसे पूछा था कि हमें हमारा स्टाइल डेवेल्प करना है तो क्या करें मतलब जब आप एक स्टाइल को डेवेलप कर लेते हो और उसमें बंद जाते हो मतलब आप एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन नहीं कर रहे आप उससे खुश हो आपने अपना दायरा लिमिटेड कर दिया आपने उसका जवाब दिया था कि वो कैसे कर सकते प्रॉब्लम कुल कुल आपका आपका आंसर आपके पास है आपको आपको ऐसा लगता है दूसरे को ऐसा लगता है कि आपने अपना स्टाइल डेवलप कर लिया मालूम मुझे अभी भी नहीं लगता मैं 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 वही कह रहा हूँ ना कि वो वो हमें स्टाइल डेवलप करना ही नहीं है किसी ने भी पूछा था कि स्टाइल कैसे डेवलप होगा तो उसके लिए एक ही काम करते रहेंगे तो लोग पहचानने लग जाएंगे कि ऐसा काम किया है तो इन्होंने किया है लेकिन आ, हम एक्सपेरिमेंट करते रहेंगे तो ज्यादा बेटर आई थिंक है ना जैसा की अभी आपने बताया पर आप ग्रेजुएट करोगे ना जैसे कि आप ग्रेजुएट करोगे एक स्टाइल से डिफरेंट स्टाइल में डिफरेंट आपका ना कुछ रिफ्लेक्शन ना ये होगा आप यू नो आप 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 जब सिग्नेचर करते हो ना पेपर के ऊपर और और बैंक जब मैच करता है उसको वो सिग्नेचर हमेशा ना विद टाइम चेंज हो जाता है बट वो फिर भी मैच कर लेता है क्योंकि ना सर्टेन थिंग्स वो इम्प्रेशन छोड़ता है एंगल ऑफ द पेन जहां जो पकड़ते हो आप जितना प्रेशर से आप साइन करते हो ना वो उसको डिटेक्ट uh, करता है और वो आपके साइन को उससे मैच करता है तो आई थिंक सम थिंग्स विल ऑलवेज रिमेन इन योर इन योर स्टाइल 
अनोइंगली रहेगा वो और इवन आप अपना मीडियम चेंज करते हो फ्रॉम से वाटर कलर टू पेन एंड इंक टू एक्रेलिक टू ऑयल टू स्कल्पचर यू विल सी कि देर आर ट्रेसेस ऑफ समथिंग विच यू आर कैरिंग यू आर कैरिंग फ्रॉम वन टू अनदर इट्स नॉट दैट यू कम्प्लीटली लूजिंग इट uh and and uh that's that's a, that's the power of style actually it's it's like uh, how do i how do i how do i explain this i still see the traces of watercolor in my uh, uh in my sketches that i do the way i draw boats the the, the way i draw houses the way i draw my lamp post it is still the same it's just the Aapke rendering the... method has changed yes 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 jo aapka wo jo lines hain aapki unki jo quality hmm. hai wo, wo... दिखती है सभी में जो आपका पहले का जाएंगे आपके स्टाइल की एंड एज अड द स्टाइल दैट यू डेवलप एक्चुअली इज मोर टोल्ड बाई अदर पीपल आप रियलाइज नहीं करोगे चीजों को लेकिन जब लोग आपको बोलते हो कि, कि अरे ये निशी ने किया है तो उसको समझ में आएगा निशिकांत का स्टाइल है क्योंकि वो समझ रहा है और निशिकांत को खुद भी नहीं मालूम होगा कि उसने स्टाइल डेवलप कर लिया है वो वो आफ्टर वाइल चेंज भी कर लेगा लेकिन फिर भी पहचान लेंगे उसको एंड दैट्स दैट्स ब्यूटी ऑफ स्टाइल एक्चुअली दैट्स ब्यूटी ऑफ अ सिग्नेचर सो आई वुड से दैट डोंट रन आफ्टर इट एज ए सेड वो स्टाइल डेवलप हो जाएगा और वो स्टाइल चेंज भी होगा और उसको चैलेंज भी करोगे आप ही यस तो ये आज का जो सेशन था वो बहुत ही मजेदार रहा हमने कुछ नया भी सीखा और जो आपका इतना एक्सपीरियंस था एक्सपीरियंस ज्यादा सिखाता है हमें थैंक यू आई डोंट नो मैंने कितना डेमो दिया और कितना मैंने बात किया प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है ना कि डेमो तो हम बहुत सारे डेमो ना यूट्यूब पे बहुत सारे डेमोज है लेकिन जो लाइव शेयरिंग होता है उससे बहुत कुछ सीखने के मिलता है तो आप आपसे जितनी भी बातें की है बहुत सारे लोगों को वही प्रॉब्लम है कि जॉब करते हैं फिर आर्ट के लिए टाइम नहीं दे पाते देन जो एक हमारे माइंड में रहता है हमेशा रहता है कि मैं आर्ट नहीं कर पा रहा तो आपको देख के एक इंस्पायरेशन मिलता है भाई आपने इतना करने के बावजूद भी आपका जो लास्ट मोटिव है आर्ट बनाना का तो उससे आप जुड़ चुके हैं तो बहुत सारे लोग है वो, वो पाथ पे चलेंगे तो इसीलिए हम कलाराम यही ट्राई करता है कि जो जिसने जो जो तरीके से अपना आर्ट जर्नी किया है बहुत सारे लोग बचपन से आर्ट करते थे तो उनका जर्नी अलग था आपने एडवर्टाइजिंग से आपके बिजनेस से देन आर्ट से कि लेकिन आपके माइंड में हमेशा आर्ट था तो ये सारी चीजें सब लोगों को सिखाती है डेमो तो क्या वो मटेरियल क्या है क्या है वो तो एक्सपीरियंस वाला पार्ट आपका इसे टेक्निक वाला पार्ट है लेकिन ये सारी चीजें हर कोई तो पेन इंक नहीं करेगा लेकिन जो आप बातें कर रहे हैं वो हर किसी को रिलेट करती है तो मैं कलाराम के द्वारा आपको धन्यवाद दूंगा कि आपने एक अच्छा हमें टाइम दिया और इतना सारे क्वेश्चंस दिए बहुत सारे लोगों के और भी सारे क्वेश्चंस रहेंगे पूरा रात भर आपका डिस्कशन चल सकता है इतने सारे एक बॉन्डिंग बन जाता है तो वो रुकते नहीं है लेकिन हमारे पास एक टाइम का लिमिट है क्योंकि हम आपका भी टाइम ज्यादा नहीं ले पाएंगे तो मैं उस का कहूंगा कि आप थोड़ा क्लोज कर सकते हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर काइंड वर्ड्स यार बिल्कुल 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 तो आज का ये सेशन बहुत ही अमेजिंग था और मैं एक बार फिर से शुक्रिया करूंगा हमारे आज के गेस्ट आर्टिस्ट तरय कुमार जी को कि उन्होंने अपना वेल्यूबल टाइम निकाला अपने शेड्यूल में से हमें दिया और बहुत शॉर्ट नोटिस पर दिया दो तीन दिन पहले ही मैंने सर को रिक्वेस्ट किया था तो अपना कम्युनिटी के लिए आपने जो टाइम दिया उसके लिए हम कलारम और कलारम के सभी आर्टिस्ट जितने भी लोग यहाँ पर जुड़े हैं वो फैमिली है कलारम की सभी आपको थैंक यू कर रहे हैं भर भर के थैंक यू कमेंट्स में आ रहे हैं तो कलारम की तरफ से आपको बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया और बेस्ट विशेष और हम जरूर दोबारा से देखेंगे आपको देखना चाहेंगे आपको अपनी किसी वर्कशॉप में जैसा कि आप पहले भी हमारे साथ बूंदी में ज्वाइन हो चुके थे और फ्यूचर में भी कोशिश रहेगी कि आप साथ में आए और हमें सीखने को मिले इसी के साथ आज का ये सेशन समाप्त होता है और शुक्रिया करूंगा मैं कलारम के फाउंडर निशिकांत पालांडे सर और अचिंत हाजरा सर को ये ब्यूटीफुल 
प्लेटफॉर्म क्रिएट करने के लिए हम आर्टिस्ट के लिए सभी के लिए और जो काम लगातार बैकेंड पर चलता रहता है उसके लिए मैं कलाराम की पूरी टीम को भी शुक्रिया करूंगा और सभी आर्ट कम्युनिटी को जो भी सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं कलाराम को उनको शुक्रिया करूंगा फिर से कहूंगा कि कलाराम के ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट पर जाइए डब्ल्यू पर और वहाँ पर सभी आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन मिलेगी अगर कोई डोनेशन भी करना चाहता है तो डोनेशन भी कर सकता है क्योंकि बहुत सारे इवेंट कलाराम के अपकमिंग रह रहे हैं जैसे कि और बहुत सारे स्कॉलरशिप के इवेंट चल रहे हैं तो उसके लिए अगर कोई सपोर्ट करना चाहता है तो सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं हाल ही में उड़ीसा की वर्कशॉप के लिए चार लोगों को चार आर्टिस्ट को स्कॉलरशिप मिली है जो कि ग्रैंडियोज आर्ट गैलरी बेंगलोर में है उन्होंने स्पॉन्सर किया है तो इसी तरह से प्रयास चलते रहते हैं कलारम के आप सभी का सपोर्ट जरूरी है और इसी के साथ यहाँ पर फाइनली सभी को विराम देता हूँ मैं शुक्रिया थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू उसका लिंक यूट्यूब पे रहेगा अगर किसी को ये स्केच ट्राई करना है तो आप जरूर